How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 9. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Goodman and Associates. Nice, they're finally getting a sign posted up. Jeez. <laughs> Good transition. Another good transition. It's a Damn. Let's hmm. guess south of the border. This name Don Eladio. Salamanca is okay with Don Juan. Pareció. Esto fue obra del pollero. Don Eladio. <laughs> Entonces, Gustavo. Are you going to move on to this? Esa. Que esto merezca una respuesta. <laughs> oh, Hector, you're bad. Yeah, all the evidence shows he's he's good. Ruining the desayuno con el. True. El South Valley seguirá siendo de los Salamanca, y el resto del norte será tuyo para bolsa. Gracias, Don Eladio. Cuando te miré los ojos, el odio. Un poquito. No está mal, siempre y cuando no te olvides. And you never see this guy shaking up. Adio has him shaking in his boots. That's the very same pool where his friend, in quotes, got killed, right? When can construction resume? We need to find a new engineer. That could take some time. Start today. Lost that lab done for Walter. Remark. <laughs> Gus found himself a man. I have to show you. Yeah, Gus really wants to, but his life, the life that he lives, not gonna work out. Should be able to see Kaylee now, right? Is he gonna tell? Is his dad the truth? I'm sorry. He won't be found. Damn. It's no justice. Revenge. What you talk of is yep. revenge. Those only one is. Man, heartbreaking. I think they got a new trash can. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. R.I.P. Howard Hamlin. Uh, HHM is downsizing. Yep, they're going to take half a floor downtown. They're changing their name. Oh, wow. Changing their name to what? Rookner Partners? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense why they're not Have you a thing in Breaking Ben. Um, not yet. Cool shot. There is something, actually. Mm. You two were the last ones to see him, weren't you? I guess uh, there was a certain amount of jealousy because Howard had the uh, respect of my brother. Wow. Which I never did. Never expected him to actually say that out loud. Tell me what you told the police. Trying to tell me. <laughs> I just... Come on, Jimmy. Lie to her face like, like you himself. always do to people. But... I... I... Please, just spit it out. <laughs> and? Ah, uh, don't say you caught him. Ah, uh, him with the lie. And Howard was there at his desk, head down. Oh, man. And he was snorting something. Witnessed anything like this, even a hint. Yeah, a little bit. You would have known. 
Please excuse me. Down. Wow. <laughs> what a shot. She really loves them so much. To consider your motion to exclude evidence, and this is the moment you choose to withdraw? <laughs> it was unavoidable possible for me to continue with this hearing. And why is that, Ms. Wexler? Because I'm no longer an attorney. Oh, wow. I gave notice to the bar two hours ago. Come on, Kim. Yep. Saw her the news. <laughs> Racing home. As good as you. No one. They need you. It's already done. Oh. Valley points by Jimmy. Hell out of here. Wait, Jimmy. Just Jimmy. Moving out. You asked if you were bad for me. That's mm. not it. We are bad for each other. Together. We're poison. He's not no, lying. No. This is about Howard. <laughs> Okay, what happened to him wasn't on us. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. Did this, not us, him. I knew. You knew what? what? I knew he was alive. And Mike Ermintrout had guys watching both of us, watching for Lalo. The real reason I didn't tell you was because I knew what you'd do. You'd want us to run and hide until you were sure I was safe. You would pull the plug on the scam and then... And then, uh... We break up because I was having too much fun. Oh <laughs> uh, man, you the fast forward. Yep, and it's not Kim. Damn. Staged at the fiery fiasco on the 40. That's what we're gonna call it. Man, what a wallpaper. Messenger with the uh, beanie babies and edible arrangement with extra dip pineapple. Man, what's the time scale? Hey, on the radio. Major or minor surgery gone wrong. Better call Saul. Are we now in the Breaking call Bad time period? Who you can't hear. Yep, there you go. Wow. <laughs> this is textbook freedom of speech. <laughs> you would. Get all that? Call the bank, cancel Jeez, the check. So the many people. Manager, tell them to crank it up or I'll see him in court. Got it. Yep, they remodeled. Now it's just like the one in Breaking Bad. Move. World's greatest lawyer. Let justice be done, though the heavens fall. <laughs> what a quote. Alrighty, so that was episode nine of Better Call Saul. So the episode starts with a montage of Jimmy and Kim going back to work and working with their clients while Mike is working on fixing up their home we did learn that the police finally visited kim and jimmy and were able to keep her story straight and the police ruled his death as a suicide there was a memorial slash gathering that was being held at hhm kim and saul went to go send their condolences hhm was downsizing and changing their name which makes sense because we didn't hear anything about hhm and breaking bad also kim and saul go upstairs to talk to howard's wife alongside cliff the wife kept questioning Jimmy because Saul was the name that Howard kept bringing up that kept messing with him. She demanded him to also say what he told the cops. She wasn't really buying it until Kim had to make up a story of Howard sniffing cocaine in his office late at night. They finally leave. Kim kisses Saul and they both go on their way back to work. Kim in a court scene, we find out that she basically quit as an attorney and goes home to start packing. Saul hears the news. And we see him racing back home to figure out from Kim why she did that. Saul goes to their bedroom and sees that Kim started packing up her stuff. And then an emotional scene happens between the two, just regarding their whole situations about what happened, about themselves, their relationship, how toxic they are. And just Kim just disliking the person that she is when she's with Saul. And she just hates herself for continuing with everything because she was having too much fun. 
we then get a time skip to it seems like the same time period as Breaking Bad, where now he's living in his nice looking mansion. He and Francesca remodeled the office to match the same decorations as what was seen in Breaking Bad. We can also see the Statue of Liberty on top of the building, which he had in Breaking Bad. And the episode ended with Saul just sitting in his chair with the We the People right behind him. A couple other notes from the episode. One, Gus. Gus had a little intervention with Don Juan, Don Eladio, the twins, and Hector Salamanca. Basically, Hector created a letter stating that Lalo was working behind the scenes after his supposed death with Hector, but they were able to, quote, disprove it by saying the twins, they were never a witness to Hector talking to Lalo, where the teeth that was found on the body did match Lalo. So there was a lot of evidence on Gus's side to say that he wasn't a part of it. Two, we also get Mike feeling bad about Vargas, about Nacho, and goes to inform his dad that his son did die, it was a quick death, and that he was going to seek justice, but the dad basically just shakes his head in disgust, saying it's revenge you're seeking, not justice. And three, because of the time skip, now I'm just wondering, are we going to be staying in this time period? Are we going to be looping back or what? So just overall, another fun episode. That's basically all the main points. So if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.